Coley here, Health, Beauty and More. The GOP just committed to uh, a $1.1 trillion spending bill, uh, I guess until early 2016. This is uh, putting us in more debt and it's going to eliminate the middle class is what it's going to do. It's um, They committed financial suicide if you think about it because um, it's adding hundreds of billions of dollars to the national debt. We're already approaching $20 trillion, and it's accelerating on its own to an inevitable collapse. So I'm just marking my words out there that the GOP establishment promises to fight this runaway spending, but good luck. We don't have any money to protect the borders. We have a lot of money to bring in refugees. They're going to be the ones that are be working and for probably minimum wage. And um, what's going to happen is a lot of people that are already here are going to lose their jobs. So it's going to put further pressure on the lower class too. I, I don't know. This just doesn't sound like a uh, a sound way to fix something. It's like another band-aid. Uh, I don't know how many band-aids you can apply to such a huge deficit uh, when we're already so far out of control that it's insane. You know, I don't. I don't know. What is your point on that? Tell me. I'm. I'm just reading in, information, and um, it just seems like. They don't have an answer, so they just kick in more money uh, for this and that to try to keep us afloat so that we don't close down the government. The, the agencies are going to be affected, and absolutely there's going to be debt for a long, long time that is it's already out of control. This is Nicole Lee, Health, Beauty, and More.